2023 was eventually a rather disappointing year when it came to the men's cricket team. They flattered to deceive uh, at the World Cup, of course, where they won every match and then went down rather tamely in the final to Australia. And then they did the same thing in the World Test Championship and the year ended with a rather disappointing defeat to South Africa. So the men's cricket team, a lot of promise but didn't entirely deliver. But the rest of the Indian sporting prowess was very much on display in 2023 and I have to say it was a really good year. Look at some of the bright spots. Neera Chopra, of course. People like Nikhat Zareen and we may well hear uh, uh, from a lot more from Neera Chopra and Nikhat Zareen next year, especially during the Paris Olympics. And then you had chess where Pragnananda did so well. And the women's cricket team, which also made us proud. So multiple newsmakers in the world of sport. And right here on the India Story, we got a chance to speak to all the people that I just mentioned. Take a look at these special interviews. You know, one of the moments that always strikes me whenever I'm looking at you giving those winning throws, your celebration. We've, we've got so fond of it, we've got so used to it. You seem to turn around and raise your arms without even looking to see where the javelin has actually gone, where it's hit the ground. You seem to be sure of where the javelin is going once you've thrown it correctly. I think it's very difficult because it's been so much work for it. 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 Neera Ji, you have written a lot of things about your and Pakistan. It's been said that you have, of course, a rivalry with Arshad Nadeem, but also some sort of a bond with him. You have, of course, a rivalry with Arshad Nadeem, but also some sort of a bond with him. There seems to be some sort of a camaraderie. You were posing together, in a sense, under the Indian flag just after you got the gold and, and he got the silver at the World Athletic Championship. So, what do you think about Arshad Nadeem? No, absolutely. Rivals are there, but... हमें सा जो भी मेरे कंपटीटर्स हैं उनके साथ हमारा सभी का आपस में एक अच्छा रिलेशन भी है हम एक दूसरे को हमेशा पुश करते हैं अंदर खेलते टाइम भी और हमेशा ही अच्छा लगता है एक दूसरे को पुश करना और फिर एक फ्रेंडली एनवायरनमेंट है सभी का तो वो चीज बहुत ज्यादा जरूरी है it's such a pleasure to talk to you and first of all, many, many congratulations. You've been having a really fantastic run, haven't you, for the last few months and years? Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, true. I mean, I've uh, the World Cup was uh, one of my best tournaments, and and I've also been playing well. Uh, my game game wise, also I'm playing well, so I'm very happy with the way things have been last few months. But you know, talking about support, I have to say that your mother has almost become a bigger star than, than you have because so much attention has been focused on her. She's always there for you, the way she supports you so much. Uh, what message would you like to give about her and the role that she's played in your success? Yeah, I'm very happy to see that uh, usually the players or the person who, uh, who achieves something gets, gets the recognition. But in this case, I'm also happy that their efforts are also being recognized. I think it's a good thing uh, to see. All right, let's let's shift our focus uh, to chess now. Obviously, the World Cup uh, as that happened, you came you came very close to the brink of that. Where do you see the path ahead for you, and what are the areas of your game that you think still need to be work, worked on? Yeah, I think my opening needs to be a bit uh, bit better. I mean, I in the World Cup, I don't think my opening was. Something that was giving me some edge. Uh, I was just playing well, so that was the main thing. Um, I think in general, I have to be in good shape uh, consistently. Um, and yeah, try to play good chess consistently. That, that's the key. How do you see the future of boxing, especially in the women's sport for India? Is this just step one in the continuing rise and rise of Indian boxing? It feels uh, great to be a twice uh, world champion uh, and win back-to-back -back gold medal for my country. And uh, definitely uh, the kind of support we are getting from Federation, from SAI and from TOPS and Government of India. And uh, I see this is just a start. And I believe we have uh, uh, you know, a lot of things to coming up in the future. 
uh, we have uh, like uh, before we were 44th at world ranking now we are at third and in this world championship we were we won the team championship and uh, i think uh, uh, like uh, like in in uh, in london olympics we won one bronze medal in tokyo we won uh, one bronze and i think uh, in pa- paris we're going to rock it all right nikat you said we're going to rock it in paris and we have no doubt that you will rock it in paris but any any specific targets that you and your other teammates have set in your mind when it comes to the olympics when it comes to the asian games when it comes to other major championships what level do you think india can actually get to like uh, before we like we have a lot of talent in boxing like we are very much uh, like talented boxer we have in india but uh, you know before we used to have only one competition in once in a year but now we are getting a lot of opportunities a lot of exposure uh, to through that exposure we are able to gain experience and we are gaining confidence so because of that we are able to perform uh, good at uh, international level world level so definitely the kind of support and uh, exposure we are getting uh, with that uh, we will be doing uh, good in uh, future i see uh, boxing uh, women boxing especially has a bright future You know one of the big things that happened with the IPL was the base not everyone can play for India but a lot of people especially in tier 2 tier 3 in rural areas started to feel that the money which we can get from the IPL means that it's a viable career for us so a lot of people started to take to cricket in the men's game from all sorts of parts of the country where cricket wasn't necessarily a major focus before do you see the same process now being repeated with the women's game with the wpl a lot of girls in different parts of the country saying i also want to play cricket and it doesn't matter if i can't get to play it for india i still have a viable career we we give a lot of hard work and you know and so much time to the support and one, as you said you know only 16 or 17 players can play for india and others they they don't have you know something where they can look after but now the when the wpl has come you know so many cricketers they are so excited if if they are not going to play for country at least they have something where they can go and perform and one more tournament is there where they can perform and you know and still uh, can get select for the indian team and then uh, definitely money is something which everyone and wants to earn and i think it's a great platform when you do do good and every uh, franchise is looking looking to pick you you know when pete i happened to be in mumbai on the 16th when that entire stadium was filled with young girls coming out waving flags getting really so excited must have been very heartwarming for you for you to see that and to see those little girls saying when i grow up i want to be harman preet i want to be smriti i want to be Mita- mitali raj must be a very heartening thing for you to see yeah after meeting them i felt so nice you know the full stadium was packed with the little girls they were cheering for mumbai indians and i think uh, you know uh, it was a great uh, moment for them and not only for them i think uh, i was also very amazed to see that you know that mi is doing so so good for the little girls they you know they they brought them to the the stadium and then you know it, it was so you know motivating for them and definitely you know few of them definitely will get a cricket as a career and maybe in other sports 